The first item I'm going to be showing you guys are what I use to bake. First thing on the list, this is my hand mixer. This is my holy grail right now. It's it's not my stand mixer that I use back home in Antigua, but it gets the job done here. Um, I'm currently at school, so I'm in my dorm, and this is what I use to get all my bakings done. I have my two eight inch cake pans. Now these are just standard professional cake pans. The reason why we might call them professional is because they have straight sides. It's not like slanted, so your cakes bake straight up and down and limits the amount of cutting that you have to do from the sides to get like straight sides on your cake. Along with those, I have pie pans, disposable pie pans. Um, these help a lot because I don't really have to like wash them after I use them, I just throw them out. As well as if I'm baking a pie for someone, I can just give them this rather than having to transfer the pie to like a cake board and things like that. I also have some loaf pans. Now these loaf pans, I bought them basically to double as a banneton because I don't have, I don't own a banneton and I wasn't going to buy one right now. Um, a banneton, I'm going to show you what a banneton is. It's basically what you would use to bake sourdough bread in or like to shape your loaves, regardless of whatever bread you're baking. And yeah, I'm thinking about making a sourdough bread, so I bought these to act as my banneton. And below that, I have some cupcake pans. I also have the disposable ones here. Um, it's easier to bake in if I'm gonna, you know, be giving it to someone as well as I have. Well, that isn't even mine. That's one of my friends' one. It's a um, same six inch pan, but yeah, it's just by Wilton. It's one. Of, it's a metal nonstick. So that's basically what I use to bake in as well as my cake mix. I have that on the top shelf. So now we're gonna go to the next shelf. So this is the next shelf that we have here. On this shelf, you're basically gonna find things that I use to decorate with. Um, it's, me, it's some of my, my decorative tools. The rest are in my knife kit. I'll show you guys my knife kit at the end and everything that's in my knife kit. First, I have a stainless steel ruler here. I basically use this ruler for when I'm measuring fondant, depending on the size that I need for a piece to match something I might want to measure it. Now I use a stainless steel because it's food safe. I can easily wash this and know that there's no food sticking to it. Along with that, I use it, I sometimes use it as a cutter, like even to cut fondant rather than to get a knife because it has sharp edges. I just use it to cut as well. I have my chef knife. Now this knife is the one I use the most. It's it's sharp, it's a, uh, I think it's a 10 inch, I think it's a 10 inch, 10 inch chef knife. And it's sturdy, it's kind of expensive, but it's worth it, trust me. Then I have my serrated knife, bread knife, standard knife. I use this knife to trim the tops of a cake. They do sell levelers, but I, this works fine for me. So once I hold this level on top of the cake, I can trim the tops, no issues. Use this knife to cut bread, everything like that. My spatulas. Now this is an offset spatula. I use a spatula to ice cakes. It's the main spatula I use when icing cakes. Because it's angled like that, I can get a flat surface to smooth the icing on top of the cake without my fingers touching the cake. If you see, when I hold this straight, there's no way my fingers are gonna be dragging into the buttercream in the frosting. So this works for that reason and then i have a mini one the mini one basically helps with doing the same thing leveling the cakes if i want to spread like a small little bit of frosting somewhere i can use this one as well as to tidy up or like get into like corners when i'm icing cakes that are i would say that have like shapes to them or like they're round i'll show you something else that i use to ice round cakes but this also helps with getting into like the crevices as well as smoothing out the sides and all of that. Now, the reason why this is different looking from the rest, I just wanna let you guys know that this spatula actually belongs to my godmother. Um, shout out to one of the best pastry chefs in Antigua, I must say. And this is the oldest piece of tool or equipment in my kit. And I don't think I can live without this. This has gotten me through jobs, schools, everything. So this, this is my holy grail as well. 
Along with that, I have a scissors. I use the scissors mainly to cut anything, um, snipping the ends off piping bags or for certain breads, I actually use the scissors to snip the top for like decoration wise. Different rolls and things like that, you need the scissors. Now this might be surprising to some people, why do I have a measuring tape? The measuring tape, I simply use it for measuring the sides of like round cakes to know exactly how long of a, like a ball that I need in terms of fondant. If I'm using like a fondant cake and I need a fondant ball that I'll use this to know how long the strip of fondant needs to be to go around the cake. So yeah, uh, standard measuring tape. Um, you wanna use something that's plastic so that it's food safe. I can easily wash it off and yeah, it's cool. No, I'm gonna have to roll this up back up so I'm not gonna put it back there. Next, I have my clay extruder. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen. I used this when I was doing the quiche um, this week. Yeah, so I shared the quiche yesterday. It was yesterday, yeah. So I use a clay extruder for designs, fondant designs, and as well as yesterday was my first time using it for pastry and it worked perfectly. Now, basically how this works, you put a face plate this is a round face plate. It's the most standard face plate that I use. You put it inside the cover here, and then you would wheel this down and basically open up the hole in here. And you would put your funnel in here. You would, wow. You would put your funnel in, you would put your face plate on with the cover like so and then you just extrude it out. And yeah, the fondant will just come through here. Depending on what faceplate you have in it, it will basically just form the shape of that and comes out through, through it like that. Added to my clay extruder, I have some of my most used piping tips. Now, I have a lot more piping tips, but these are the ones that I basically travel with and these are the ones that I use the most. So first I have my Wilton um, this is a number three. I use this tip for writing, piping, letters, designs, like vines, for like flowers, strings, things like that. I have a slightly larger one. It's a Wilton 5. Along with that, I have a round tip. This round tip is a 12. I use this tip for like borders and things like that. I have a small star tip also for borders. I have this tip, it's, I use it for borders as well. It's half star and half like a round tip. So if I use it on the round tip side for a border, it will basically come out as a round tip. Or I can simply just flip the bag around and it comes out as a star tip. So this tip is pretty cool. Along with that, I have two leaf tips. Just put green frosting and I get my my leaves for flowers. Next tip is a French tip. Now this French tip is basically a star tip with just a lot of points and this tip basically, I'll probably show you how it looks. Now my favorite tip, and I would want to believe that most bakers would agree with me, a Wilton 1M. This is like the tip. If you if you do cupcakes and you think about having just one tip, or if you are if someone asks you what tip you can't live without, it's definitely a Wilton 1M. This tip is also known as a rosette tip. Um, you use this tip for flowers, you use this tip for piping borders, you use this tip for piping ruffles, everything. This tip, this is it. To match that one, this is also basically the same tip that I would use, but just in a round. It's a Wilton 1A and yeah, piping cupcakes. If you just want a nice sleek round design, you use this one and then you can add like your sprinkles and everything on top and yeah, it's perfect. So these two tips, they work perfect for cupcakes and then the smaller ones, they use perfect for like borders. I have a piping bag. Yeah, I go through a lot of piping bags, I must say, a lot. 
So yeah, this is like an essential. If I if I'm traveling, I'll make sure to at least have one piping bag in my kit. This right here, it's a uh, mat. It's uh, it came with what did this come with? Oh, this mat came with my scalpels and my like cutting tools. So whenever I'm cutting designs like logos, or I'm cutting out fondant for different things. I'll use this mat so I don't cut the work surface that I'm working on. And we can go down to the next shelf. So yeah, first thing I have here is a whisk. It's basically what I use to whip whipped cream when I'm making most whipping frostings by hand or beating eggs. This is what I use. I mean, we all know what a whisk is, right? Yeah. I have a heat resistant spatula. Um, this is a spatula that I would use for everything. What I mean by heat resistant, you're not gonna use a regular spatula. For example, you're not gonna use a spatula like this for um, caramel because you put this into hot caramel, this is gonna burn. This, this can withstand heat, like serious heat. And if you can realize it's kind of off white, that happened after a while because of the heat. But trust me, it's perfectly fine. It's, this is what I use for caramel and things like that. Whenever I need to fold anything, yeah, I'll spatula. That's what I use a spatula for. <coughs> Next, I have the attachments for my hand mixer. Regular mixer to be I me. Mean, we know what that is, right? I have my measuring spoons. Just some regular measuring spoons. I also have measuring cups, standard measuring cups. These are for dry ingredients. I have my wet measuring cup um, that is rubbing off. <laughs> yeah, I also have my cookie cutter rings. Now these rings, I use them not only for cutting cookies, but I use them for cake decorating. If I need like a circle, or like a perfect circle for something, I'm just gonna estimate the size that I want and I'm just gonna grab it and cut out the circle. Um, some designs, I might actually use two circles. I use these for the cookies on the baby, the boss baby cake, yes. So I basically decided on a size. I cut a ring out of it and then I would have used a larger ring to like cut out part of that ring. And then that gave me like a bite, a bite look. And then actually what I used now was this tip to actually make like the teeth marks in the, the cookie. So yeah, as you can see, I needed these three, well, I used these three things to make the cookies. So those are my cutters. And then I have, these are the scoops. These aren't really essentials. I have them, I got them from when I ordered the customized M&Ms from my brother's treat table for his wedding. And I actually keep these basically to add water in them. If I'm using like a paintbrush and I just need to dip water for something, that's why I use these for mainly. And that's that. Next shelf. So here we're on the last shelf. Now on this shelf, I have what I use mainly for those and a part of the baking process as well, as well as my scrapers. First I have my fondant smoother. I basically use it to smooth fondant against the size of the cake. Added to that, I have this. Now this is another smoother. You can also use this for, for, oh, this, this is the other thing I said that I used when smoothing round cakes and things like that. I basically can curve it and to the like the sides of the cake and smooth the cake with that for frostings. I have my cake scraper. Um, it's two sides. One side give me a straight. I mainly use this like all the time for for icing cakes. And then the sides would give me stripes, and I can then chill the cake and put a different color frosting into the the, the divot that it would have made, and then use this side to smooth it out, and I'll have stripes on the cake. I have a metal dough scraper. Um, bench cutter, whatever you want to call it, and I just use it for cutting dough. Yeah, 
and for like oh i use this when i'm making fondant basically to scrape the fondant off the counter and yeah that's that so added to those i have a small sifter i use this for dusting powdered sugar or for dusting cornstarch for dusting flour on the counter my scale this is just a standard scale this one has grams ounces and pounds and it works perfectly fine this is my thermometer it's a stem thermometer basically just insert it into the dough into whatever i'm making and i'll know the temperature that it reads And then I have a pastry brush. I use this brush. I actually bought this brush. Oh no, I didn't buy this brush. This brush came in my kit. But I've bought regular pastry, well, regular paint brushes. Like just get a clean new paint brush from any hardware store and it works perfectly fine. I've done that before. And the last thing on the shelf is my rolling pin. This is a French rolling pin. The difference between this rolling pin and a standard, I would say American rolling pin, is that as you can see this one doesn't have like a handle per se so the reason why i prefer this rolling pin over the standard rolling pin is because when i'm picking up fondant or i'm picking up dough it doesn't have a handle separate from the pin that's rolling so if i hold it the fondant is not gonna slide or move on top it's gonna stay in place because this doesn't move unless i move it although this one is more work when rolling now and you have to apply more pressure i like it so yeah i rather use this rolling pin and that's the last thing that's on my rack so now i'm going to show you guys what i have in my knife kit so before i show you guys what's in my knife kit this is basically my turntable now i got this turntable as a gift last year and it's a wilton high and low turntable what i mean by high and low basically is that it can go low like this turns perfect or I can actually adjust the feet at the bottom here and give it some height so it goes higher and added to that it has this little lock feature here so I can lock it in place and I can use it as like a cake stand or if I'm now not working on the size of the cake and I just want to like decorate it I can Lock it in place, things like that. And this is just like a, a little non slip material and it just holds the cake in place so it doesn't slide around. So, this is a really good um, turntable. So, now what is in my knife bag? This is my little kit. I bought this when I started school here. This is actually my third knife bag that I've bought <laughs> and they're very expensive, so I should not be saying that. But this is my knife kit and I'm basically going to show you what's inside of it. I take out this knife kit when I'm going to start to decorate and once you see what's inside you're going to know why. This isn't something that I'm, I use while baking so it doesn't need to be out and I just don't like cluttered spaces so I only bring this out when it's time to decorate the cake. Now the first part of my knife kit, well before I open it let me just show you what's on the outside. In the back here, over here, yeah. In this zip, I have the face plates for the clay extruder that I showed you guys earlier. So these are all the different. Let me show you. These are all the different face plates that came with the extruder, and they just do different things. So like this one can give you like hair looking fondant or whatever. This is a half circle square yeah different face plates and i just keep those there i also when traveling i keep my piping tips in there as well so first section of my knife kit i have like different tools i have a small ruler i use this when doing like detail works or if i'm measuring like small pieces of fondant for a decoration. I have blades. These are spare blades. This, these are spare blades for my box cutter. 
this is the box cutter that I currently have. Um, I use it for cutting fondant, cutting, yeah, mainly fondant. And these are just the different um, replaceable blades for the box cutter. So I keep those here and yeah. So these are the small blades. These are small replaceable blades for these. These are my scalpels. These I use mainly for decoration. And yeah, it just gives me a nice sharp blade for precision work when cutting fondant. So I have like maybe four or five cases of these in here. I have a spoon. A spoon, why I have a spoon in here? It's based, this spoon I use for cunelling, um whipped cream, mousse, ice cream, mainly for like plating desserts or whenever I need to quinell something. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm talking about. Okay, I'll put a picture. I'll put a picture, like, let's say deer. Yeah. So that's basically what I use a spoon to do. It's just to form that nice with the quinelle of whipped cream or whatever. That's why I have a spoon. This is a strip cutter. Now I use this to cut, like, make decorative cuts at the edge of fondant. So if I just press it into a fondant, um, this is the edge I will get rather than like a straight line and I recently found like a good tip not a piping tip but like a helpful tip that that I can use this for um, I basically I had to like troubleshoot an issue I was having with a cake and me and my mom we were trying to figure out what I could do to fix the issue this works perfect for it and I'll be doing that <laughs> forever <laughs> I have a zester, I use this for um, shredding, not shredding, for shaving, shaving chocolates, shaving anything that I need to shave, yeah, um, yeah, I, I can also use it to like zest lemons and things like that, but it's mainly for shaving chocolate for like platings, yeah, and that's it for this side, so the next section of my knife kit, I have an apron. They yeah, have an apron. Wait, I think. Oh, so what's in this is very. Let's just let's just keep it on down though. Don't let anybody know what's in there. Actually, I'm playing. I can really show you guys what's in here. But it's like the most important thing. It's my recipe book, <laughs> a pen, and a marker. Now, if you guys want to see inside of this. Look at look at the book. You know what's inside of this book. You can tell by the way how the book is battered. It's like, you know what? I can, sh I, I'll show you guys. Or, I might just release my recipes in a cookbook one day. I'm not gonna share what's in this book right now. So that's what's in there. And then on this side, I think I have gold foil. Yeah. Just some edible gold leaf. That's what I have here. And for the last section of my knife kit, I have a bunch of brushes. Now, other than the brushes, I have these two um, decorative tools. I use them for either impression like marks into fondant. I basically use this mainly for the quilted design look on fondant yeah that's mainly what i use this for but this came in a set of like i would say 10 to 12 and i only have two so just imagine where the rest are they're like either in antigua hopefully or i've just lost them i mean that happens and added to that i have a bunch of brushes now i use these obviously for painting these are the finer ones smaller brushes goes up to like different brushes larger um some of them are actually denser than some and then yeah these are um what i like to separate as well is the brushes that i use for like gold and things like that because they never really wash out fully but as you can see this brush this is like my favorite brush but it also has like gold still stuck in it i don't know if you guys can see see you see that like look at my hand yeah so it never like it never fully washes out so i keep these separate so i know 
what brushes not to contaminate with like gold dust or like silver and things like that. And then added to that I have these two um, larger brushes. This one I use mainly for like fanning um, streaks it's going up the sides of the cake. And this one, this is this is a makeup brush actually. Well, yeah. I use this for like brushing the wow it's shedding. Yeah, I use this for what do I use it for? I use this brush basically to when I want to paint the entire cake. Um I'll insert a picture basically of the the second it was the second layer? No the third no the second. The second tier of my brother's wedding cake, that full like rose gold tier, I use this brush to like fully cover it. Because rather than using one of these smaller ones, this covers a lot of surface area in one time. So it's easier as well as I use this for like dusting um cocoa powder or if I'm dusting like luster dust on something, I'll use this brush. So yeah, that's the end of my knife kit. Also that's the end of this video. I would have went through most of my essential tools and equipment that I have with me. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, drop a like. Like, I don't know where the like is, but drop a like. And yeah, don't forget to comment on this video. Let me know what else you want to see me making. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in my next video.